first thing, as you said, naturalized U.S. citizen, there are no, there's only one category of U.S. citizens. So whether you're naturalized or you're born here, you are a U.S. citizen. <coughs> Right, right, right. So, like I said, there are different categories and different timelines. The timeline will depend on what country that the foreign person is from. And that's, it's not what you're a citizen of, it's where you were born. Now, like I said, there are a limited number of green cards issued each year for each country, for each category. Unfortunately, brothers and sisters of U.S. citizens are the slowest category there is. If you're from, if you're born in the Philippines, it's going to take 20 years. If you were born in India or China, it'll take a little more than 10 years. Um, if you were born in most other countries, it'll be about 10 years. So, unfortunately, that means that if you, if a foreign person is in the United States, first of all, they have to wait a long time. And second of all, that category does not allow for that unlawful presence that I'm talking about. You can't just overstay and stay here the whole time. You have to have legal status, so you would need that waiver. So either you have the provisional waiver, or you leave the United States and risk applying for the waiver. During that waiting period, is it possible to do a temporary visit? In other words, a visit visa for a six-month period? Okay. Now, uh, when you apply for a visitor visa at the embassy, sometimes it's going to be a six-month visa sometimes one year. A lot of countries give you 10-year multiple entry visitor visas. When you apply for the visa, you have to show that, for a visitor visa, you have to show what's called non-immigrant intent. You're actually going to come here just to visit, and then you're going to leave. And the government, well, sometimes they want to see a lot of documentation to make sure you're going to do that. They want to know exactly why are you coming here. Do you have a plan for travel? Uh, do you have ties back to your own country? Is your family there? Do you have a house there? Do you have a job you're going back to? And if you're coming here, how are you going to support yourself? Is somebody going to stay in somebody's place? Is somebody going to help financially support you? Or do you have your own finances? And the last thing is, is any, have you ever applied for the green card? Or has anybody ever sponsored you? Now, if it's a category like a brother or sister who's a U.S. citizen, that wait is so long that it might not be that relevant, but there's a chance and that could be the tipping factor that could prevent the approval of visa visa. And that's because a lot of countries, some people just want that visa to come here, and then they plan to never leave again. And if there's a high volume visitor country, China, India, Mexico, then it's going to be very tough to get that visitor visa if somebody's already sponsored.